Hey guys, today I was showing you guys how to do the um, glitch effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11 and what it looks like is this. As you can see the part where um, like it went all shaky and colorful was the glitch effect and I use this in one of my videos as you can find on my channel. So yeah. So you'll be needing two things. You'll be needing your clip that you want to have the glitch in, which I'm going to be dragging into my thing. Then you want to make a new video track. And then it's still there, but yeah. Then I made um, a preset thing. It's called Glitch Overlay Without Shake. And because you want to make the shake in, um, the shake's going to be inside of your clip. So if you make it without it, it's just going to look really stupid. If you do like one of the preset ones that are in like people's video editing packs. So yeah. Now, now what you want to do is you want to find where you want to, um, whoops, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just put this in the beginning of the clip. So you want to find where, um, you want to make the, uh, glitch effect. So I'm probably going to put mine here. I'm going to put M for a marker. And then go here. And then put M for a marker. So that's where I want it to end is here. So I'm going to delete the audio track that comes with the clip. So I'm going to separate the audio. I'm going to press U and then delete. And then I'm going to right click on the video track and then press delete track. So now I'm only left with two things, which is the glitch and where I want it to be. So um, there's really no point in where I want it to start. It's just where I want it to end. So I'm going to go to the first clip and go ahead and put it to the second part. I'm just going to put that. I'm going to put the first marker again of the clip so it makes it look like I know what I'm doing. And then um, when you go over it, it's going to look really weird because it's just going to have the moving black lines, or moving colorful lines before the glitch. And then now what you want to do is you want to click add, or you want to press this um, green compositing mode button thing. Then you want to press it and then click add. What add does is that it kind of puts it all together so it looks nicer, as you can see. And then if you want to be able to see your clip more, just go to the top of the clip and bring the opacity down. As you can see, you can see more into the clip than it regularly does. Now, where you put your markers, you want to split your regular clip. Wait, I forgot to say you want to right click the clip, go to properties, uh, un click disable resample and then click maintain aspect ratio and press OK. This makes it full screen and doesn't give a little resample which looks really bad in your video editing clips. Now what you want to do is you want to split on the marker points split by pressing S then you want to go to your other marker and then press S. Now you have separate clips now you want to go to your video FX and then go to um where is it? You want to go to TV simulator and then you want to go to reset to none and then drag that to your clip. Reset to none uh, is just this. It's really nothing special. Um so now you just have the regular lines that you regularly would have and now what you're going to add is um the shake. So you want to press animate and then this brings the keyframes and stuff. You want to add a keyframe and then go to the next whatever, add a keyframe, next, 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 keyframe, next, keyframe, and so on and so forth until your final thing. Then your final one, add a keyframe too. Uh, what keyframes do is that they like do special things at special times in the clip. So, like 
I'm doing special things at different times in the clip by using these keyframes and making the clip more warp like like it was in the example that I showed. So you want to click your first keyframe and move this, this, and static. Like so then you want to like go to the beginning of the clip to the effect that you made and then go to your next keyframe and then next and then move this so like it goes here wh whatever kind of looks nice there's really no not much of a difference then move your static to I want to go to your next keyframe move all these just move it randomly kind of like have it nice and warped and move to the next one you don't want to move anything except line sync, vertical sync, and static. And then you go to the next one. Just move them to like random places. There's really nothing special to it. Oh, I added two keyframes. Uh, just to delete a keyframe, just click on it, then press delete. So this keyframe already has something on it. This keyframe, I guess, no. Oops, that keyframe doesn't. The one before it does. Then you want to do something to it. Just move it a bit, a little bit. Doesn't really matter as long as you move it. Just get that nice uh, glitch effect. Now I keep moving it. Then, um, just move it again. Then on your last keyframe, make it important that you keep it exactly where it was. Then after you keep it where it was, you can just exit out of the clip. And then you want to, like, kind of just press the frame button. Like, I like to hold down on the frame button to see what it looks like. As you can see, after he lands out, oh, I'm just going to split the clip. And then delete the rest. So, so that. Um, this looks pretty nice for the glitch effect, and that's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and I hope this helped you guys for however you're what, whatever you're trying to do. And also for the um places where I made my homemade glitch thing, I might put a link in the description for a download for it. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped. And at the end of the video, I'll have the final product.